seven-week series on the building blocks of virtualization. Today our topic is server virtualization. Just a few quick housekeeping notes. We will be answering questions at the end of this session, so if you have any questions during the presentation, please use the question box in your GoToWebinar panel, um, and we will get to those at the end. If We are recording today's webinar, so it will be up and available on the website later this afternoon, as well as the recording from last week's session. So if you have anybody else that you think should be watching these, please send them to www.centronetcorp.com, and they can get caught up. So without further ado, our presenter today is Centronet's Technical Account Executive, John Braden. Welcome, John. Thank you, Valerie. And again, as Valerie covered, welcome to the Centronet webinar series, The Building Blocks of Virtualization. And we are going to cover server virtualization today. All right, so we'll take a quick look at the agenda. My mouse works. There we go. So we're just going to do a quick introduction of uh, Centronet, who we are, what we do. And we're going to talk about why virtualize. Why is server virtualization important for your company and how it can be utilized? Um, just a wizard there is we're going to dive into just a brief explanation about server virtualization, how it works, um, and how it works with your current environment. And then last but not least, what does this mean to your business? We're going to go over a few use cases um, and show you how it can really transform your business and make you a more successful IT shop. And then last not um, one other piece, the secret of my success is going to give you some tips of, hey, this is a really great idea. Now, how do we get uh, make this a win in our organization? All right. So, a quick in info about Centronet. Uh, virtualization is all we do. That is our specialization. We focus on the virtualization of applications, desktop, storage, and all the components that go around it. That's our core focus. Um, and because of that, our key partnerships. You know, we partner with all the leading virtualization vendors in the industry. So we are the only Citrix Platinum partner in Georgia. We're, uh, we're an enterprise partner as well as a, an authorized consultant with VMware, as well as Microsoft uh, Gold Partner. You'll see on the next slide, we do have partnerships with all the relating technologies, you know, think client, storage, security as well. Um, our team, uh, we have over 10 years experience of, uh, with virtualization technologies, whether it's our engineers and our sales team. We also, uh, they are certified with uh, you know, the partner programs, whether it be Microsoft, Citrix, or VMware. And again, our sales team is, is there to blend the business with the technology. It's not always about the technology. The business is just as important. There's again some of our partner list, HP, Dell, Wise, NetApp, AppSense, they should be familiar names, but they are key players in the virtualization market as well. All right, so why virtualize? Why server virtualization? The, the four key points of what I really want you to take away is how can this help my business? What are the points I want to take from this? Reduce cost, speed up your IT department, be more flexible, provide more options, be very dynamic to the changing needs of your company. Guarantee performance. I want to make sure my applications are available 100% of the time, not just if we have a downtime, they go down, and we have SLAs, but we have 95% instead of the five nines. Server virtualization can provide that, as well as reducing the downtime. So if most IT shops have the typical the 2 a.m. downtime on Saturday, you all are patching or maintenance, uh, server virtualization can eliminate those pieces, as well as just the general, you know, the server powered off. So what is server virtualization? Put it simply, server virtualization is just a thin layer that separates the operating system from the physical Hardware. So you've probably all seen in the data centers, the big black box, you know, flashing lights, red buttons. You know, no one wants to touch it. That has an OS lo um, loaded on it. So server so virtualization is going to separate that. Just a thin layer decouples those pieces. Once we do that, we get all the benefits we're going to start to talk about. It becomes an entity that's easy to move around. There is no, the OS is tied to that physical box. There is three different types of Server virtualization, there is the single OS solution. That's more of a workstation uh, that you're going to load on your desktop. So if you have a developer or a QA who just needs to take a look at Windows 7 or the new version of server without going through the server provisioning process of contacting IT, he just needs to take a quick look. That's where the single OS solution is going to come into play. The middle box is the hosted solution or a server solution. Um, what's interesting, you know, this used to be a large uh, percentage of the business when the technology first came out because it was you know, price exclusive when it first came out, but that's 
it's the bare metal solution, which we're going to talk about, has become so cost effective, the middle bucket is being phased out from a lot of companies. Is that in? Okay. Sorry. Looks like you can't hear me. And the last piece is bare metal virtualization. This is the core of what we're really going to focus on today. This is where most organizations are focusing now. So what is bare metal virtualization? This is the hypervisor. The hypervisor is the thin layer I spoke of before. That's what gives us the separation of the OS operating system, whether it be you know, Windows, Linux, Mac, from the physical hardware. And that's referred to as the hypervisor. And that's a bare metal install. It loads on top of the hardware. Um, there is no login screen. There is no username password prompt. It sits right on, um, right on top of the hardware and allows you to the operating systems to share the underlying hardware components. And that's key to remember. If you have two OSs trying to talk to the same device at the same time, that's generally a conflict, things are bad. So the hypervisor is going to allow it to share the host resources, share the NIC, share the memory, share the CPU of the device. Um, and the bare metal virtualization, again, it's going to lower the cost. It's going to allow for higher consolidations. So you can put more virtualization um, technology in one box. You can put more OSs on one box. And it's easier to manage. Okay, so what does this mean for my business? You know, here's where we're going to go into the use cases and the benefits. This is the high-level view. You know, these are the four areas where we're seeing the most deployment, the most benefit, the most cost-effective solutions. So there's consolidation. You know, we want to reduce your physical footprint. We want to take you from 100 physical servers down to five physical servers. High availability. We want to ensure 100% um, access to your applications which ties into business continuity. So those two are kind of tied together as far as 100% access to your applications regardless of a downtime in your current data center, so a server goes offline in your office now, or you have an actual major outage. So my you know, Atlanta office goes down completely. If we go to Starbucks, can we still log in and get that same look and feel? And last is the automation. It's the automated process of setting servers up, provisioning is easy, it's fast, it's consistent across the board. There is no the one-off configurations of the IT guy here five years ago configured a different way. Okay, so consolidation. The biggest number one benefit everyone gets out of this, it's going to reduce your cost, capital and operating. So obviously the capital expense is going to be, you're going to reduce the new server purchase. So since we've consolidated 100 physical servers down to five physical servers, and we're now utilizing the hardware to its full capacity, if you need a new server for any various scenario, I need a new SQL server, I need a new Exchange server, you can now turn on and provision that server in minutes. There is no physical purchase cost. There is no PO process and ordering and waiting for it to be delivered and packaged up and wrapped. So that process is eliminated. Because of that, again, reducing the footprint, you're going to reduce your cooling, your power, your you know, real estate in the data center, which is going to really affect your operating costs. So it's key to remember consolidation, you get a lot of benefits, you get a lot of speed, but there is a huge cost savings. The improved performance, where this comes into play, uh, Forrester and Gartner and all the big boys out there, they've done all the studies. On average, the servers in your data center are only being utilized at 20%. So in a scenario where you have five physical servers, that are only utilizing 20% of the processing power spread out between them. That's not a very cost-effective solution. But what if we could take those five physical servers and put them all in one box, virtualize them, put them all in one box. Now I have one physical box utilizing 100% of the hardware. Very, very effective, very cost-beneficial. Um, the other piece in how it relates to IT is um, I worked in the IT industry before I work with Centernet, and the one thing, my number one thing I always wanted to have, I, the more options I had, the more dynamic and faster I could meet the needs of the, organization, of the organizations I worked with. So server virtualization gives you that piece. If I need to turn on 10 servers for the SQL developers, so they need it for a you know, one or two month period to do that testing, without server virtualization, that may not even be possible. I mean, if I had the budget to buy 10 servers, especially if they mentioned, well, we only need it for one month. That's not very good as far as cost. We have to purchase it. Server virtualization, I can turn on those 10 servers, provide it to them in minutes, have it available for a month, two months, and then turn it off. No cost, nothing associated with 